Hi guys, it's Barbara with Cancer Cancer Cancer. This is an all Cancerian channel. Cross watchers are welcome. If you're looking for other placements, please check out my main channel, Quartz Rose Tarot. The link is below. Uh, guys, if you're looking for my information to book a personal reading, you'll find that listed below. I am doing two giveaways this month through the month of April. If you purchase a reading with me, USA only, I am giving away five of my tarot decks, five of my tarot deck, Magical Fantasy Tarot. Um, if you purchase one in the Etsy store in the, the description box, the link is in the description box for Etsy as well, uh, you will be entered to win a half hour reading. So let's get into this for Cancer. What's the hidden truth here, Cancer? I know I messed everything up. And I want to tell you how I feel. Okay, so they know they've messed everything up and they want to tell you how they feel. But the, the mouse, got the mice, worry, loss, stress, theft, um, lack, sneaky, toxic, I want to say that's on that. Okay. You have somebody who was being sneaky. They've been a snake. They know they messed everything up. They know that they want to tell you how they feel. Now, cancer, this could be someone who is um a relationship this could be a, an ex-partner this could be an ex-friend this could be a family member this could be anybody right they know they messed up and they want to they want to tell you how they feel but they're the sneaky snake right this person this person was a cheater or they maybe they're draining you they're trying to be sneaky they're toxic you're dealing with an Aries. Someone wants to offer you um, a relationship. If you're dealing with a Taurus, there is an ending, a karmic ending, so something new can begin. If you're dealing with a Gemini, they feel like they got a victory betraying you, like they won, like they're coming back from the battle victoriously. Wow. So maybe like your man down on aisle five, right? So they won and they're coming back to, to boast about it. They're boasting about what they did. If you're dealing with a cancer, um, I feel like I feel like you walked away from this fight. So this person's coming in to do battle with you right? And you just simply walked away from it. You didn't engage in this. If you're dealing with a Leo, someone's uh, obsessed, but they're at a crossroads. They're looking out to the future. They're trying to figure out what path to take. They're obsessed though. This person could be toxic. If you're dealing with a Virgo, they want to recover the relationship. If you're dealing with a Libra, they're, okay. They're looking back at their past mistakes, but they're like cutting it out. They're like, oh, like that didn't happen. Let's just cut that out. That, like that, that didn't really happen. Um, if you're dealing with a Scorpio, there's happiness and divine timing. If you're dealing with a Sag, these cards are slippery. Um, they're waiting to move forward. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, they may rush in and out with a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, they may be blocking emotional communication. If you're dealing with, like, I feel like if you're emotional and want to talk to them, they're just going to cut you off. They're just going to cut you off. They don't want to hear it. And if you're dealing with a Pisces, they want to communicate with the emperor. They want to talk to the man himself. Somebody here wants to tell you how they feel and they know they messed up. 
At least they're owning it. At least this person is owning it. Okay. What's happening, Cancer? Cancer, you coming in as that Empress energy, you're just patiently... Feel like you've, you're in your peace. You may be trying to heal. So you're patiently trying to heal with that star. Um, I feel like to have new love. So you're doing the, doing the right steps to do what you need to do. But something's cutting. Someone's trying to cut out the truth. Someone's trying to cut out the truth about the drama. So if you're hearing from somebody. Okay. Okay, this person says, I know I messed up. They're being sneaky. They're a snake, remember, right? And, and I just want to tell you how you feel. Well, they're trying to cut out the truth. They're trying to cut out the truth about a chaos magic. So somebody may have done an illusion of chaos on you. So somebody may, oh, but they're like trying to when they come back. Oh, I know I messed up, but oh, are you leaving out the part when you were, you were uh, trying to destroy my life? <laughs> <laughs> Are you missing a piece of the puzzle? What? Okay. So cancer, call this person out for what they are. They're a snake. This person is a snake. I don't care how they come towards you trying to tell you how they feel. This person has ulterior motives. This person wants their foot in the door because maybe what they're doing isn't working anymore. And maybe they want to say what they, yeah, but you see through it. You see through it. You saw it, right? You, you have all the clarity you need, Cancer. You know what this person's about, but you close the door on this. This is why you're patiently he healing yourself, working on you, dealing with you. But this person's trying to cut out the truth about whatever they did. This is somebody from your past. This could be, this could be a friend. This could be a frenemy is what I think it is. Somebody who wishes ill will on you behind your back, but to your face has got a smile on their face. Okay. Be careful with that kind of person. They could be, they could be, um, specifically, they could be a Leo. This person from the past needs strength, the strength to wait, right? Because of a queen of pentacles. Okay. So I feel like there's another person in the mix between this person that's trying to come back to you and tell you what they feel or how they feel and another person they're waiting. They need the strength to wait because of this queen of pentacles. They're back and forth still trying to hold on to both of you somehow, right? Because see, there were three people in the mix. There were three people in the mix. The person, this is the person that is, is the one who's the snake. Because you see this long-haired one is the empress. And this queen of pentacles, right there. So I feel like in the, in the mix here, because there were three, where there were three, there, um, whatever they did, uh, I don't feel like there's energy of anybody talking to anybody. They caused burden. They're back and forth holding on because of this, trying to reconcile the burden. You're mastering your emotions, Cancer. You know you shouldn't give to this. There's no equal give and take. You know, you may have been like a family before, but you ain't like one now. I feel like whatever the case may be, don't believe what this person's going to say. This person's going to tell you they want to reconcile here in divine timing. They want to come in and offer that cup. I almost feel like that is a peace offering here. They're coming towards you. They may be at a distance from you, but they definitely betrayed you. They definitely betrayed you, Cancer. So... 
uh, this person's coming towards you. They've got something to say. I want to know what it is they want to talk about. Because, you know, they're trying to actually cut out the fact that they did what they did. Oh, that was yesterday. I just did that. I just tried to destroy your life because I was angry at the moment. Well, I mean, come on. It is what it is. Tell me about cancer. They're going to take a chance. They're hoping they're hoping they're going to to play on your sympathy. Because they're they're taking a risk here to get their wish. They're risk they're willing to risk it for the biscuit kind of thing, right? This person's willing to risk it to get what they want. I wish things could be different. I am becoming a better person. Um, I believe they're going to tell you what they want you to hear. So they can, I'm a better person now. I'm overcoming this. I've been through some things. And, you know, I've come out this, you know, I see the error of my ways. But the fact that they're trying to cut out what they actually did. Interesting. Interesting. One more. See, they won a victory. Um, I feel like that Queen of Pentacles is now coming in in a masculine energy. And I feel like this person's heartbroken and they want to reconcile with not only you, but that King Queen of Pentacles, right? They want a victory here. They want to get their foot back in the door somehow. They want it to be like it used to be, is what I feel like. For this relationship, they're waiting. They're waiting. They're they're. This person may say, you know, we used to be such a strong family or whatever the case may be. Uh, this person is um, really bringing out the stops cancer to get you to see their point of view. They want you to see something from a different perspective, but you're not having it. You're discontent with whatever they're offering you. Um, I wouldn't drink out of that cup. I'm just saying I wouldn't drink out of that cup. They want to manifest moving forward here. But there's something still hidden. See, this person is telling you what they want you to hear so that they get what they want, right? If they can play on your sympathy and you're like, oh, yeah, come on back in, you know, and then they get their foot in the door. Oh, all hell's going to break loose. All hell will break loose. That's like you want to talk about sleeping with the enemy kind of thing um even having them in your house i wouldn't do it i wouldn't do it i feel like this person if they took a bath with uh with holy water they would leave a burnt mark on the bathtub okay i'm just saying you do you but i'm saying i know better this one this one is passionately communicating for you to make a choice they want you to make a choice here so that you guys can work things out but they're here for drama they're not going to want, they don't want to work on the drama. They're here. They want to work with you possibly, but they're here to cause drama. This is why they're here. They want to cause you drama, especially uh, where your money's concerned, because if it has to do with your money and work, you know, this is about your pinnacles, cancer. Don't let this person in the back, in the door, unless unless you want to end up broke. I mean broke. Because this person is keeping is keeping their secrets. 
they're not talking they're not really telling you what's happening okay when it's falling on the on the on the drama this person could have higher esoteric knowledge and they could be a high priestess in magic doing chaos magic on you so you got to take it out resonates with you but don't let this person back in the door um if you want your peace I feel like you're, they're, good, they're telling you, you'll, you'll regret it if you do, if you let this person in, this person to work and collaborate with you, you'll regret it, you'll regret it. They'll try to take control of something. They're gonna try to take control and you're gonna have to recover. So don't do it. You know, sometimes it's easier just to forgive somebody and move on with your life. Because you know that that person, if you're around them, they will do whatever they can to get what they want. And sometimes it's just better to leave it alone. So guys, that is all I have for you. If that resonates with you, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And stay blessed.